Now you played some um, some Fargo audio for us a few weeks ago on the show, and I believe you said you had some uh, some more that you you wanted to share. Maybe I do. Uh, this was um, man. This was when he. I mean, you know, he, he wasn't in that great of health, but he came to a show in Nashville, and um, uh, we were just we were just backstage. And it was it was cool, and the fact that I had a, I had this new I had a new uh, you know a new Samsung Galaxy telephone, and that would take some great pictures and took some great uh, and I and I just you know got him over there and I said, Jackie, let me let me show you how these uh, how these phone cell phones work now with this you know you can do videos and uh, take great pictures on them. So anyway, he just let me do three or four little videos of just. Um, of him talking once, I think he, one of them, he talked about me. One of them, he talked about my son, Brian. Um, but it was just some classic stuff of just off the cuff of me, me just saying, here, Jackie, let me, let me just film you for a minute. Just say anything. And, but in, in the, in the, um, in the videos, you can tell that he was already slipping a little bit. Like he couldn't remember Dave Brown, uh, Dave Brown's name or Lance Russell's name on one of them. Um, uh, just you know, you could just you, you could just tell a little bit, but they never aired anywhere, and they've never been heard by anybody other than me on my phone. So it's you know, it, to me, it's like a a piece of Jackie that uh, nobody had ever you know nobody was ever gonna see or hear again. Would you want to share some of that, or you want to keep that private? Yeah, yeah, no. I'll, here, listen, here I'll do it right now. He was making he was making motion with his hands like he was drinking. He said, "Keep it up, Brian." All right, ready? Yeah. You know, it's always a pleasure to come to stinking no good in Memphis. You know what I like about it? Nothing, not one damn thing I like about Memphis. No, I don't. I don't like nothing about it. And I came here in 1957. Whooped every time. Whoop? Is that right? Whooped or beat? Okay, I beat everything that got in front of me, and 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 something about a teacup. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Jerry always thinks he he can whip me now. Nah, him really seriously, he he does. He really thinks he can whip me. Well, I got news for him. He can't. Lawler, you never see the day, pal. What about Sputnik Monroe? Can he whip you? Sputnik Monroe? God, God said the damn woodchuck. I whip four guys like him at one time. What are you talking about? Sputnik my age. <laughs> Sputnik Monroe. He couldn't whip me on his biggest day. Him or nobody else in his field. What about Tojo Yamamoto? Could he whip you? Not never, ever, never, 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 ever, never, 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 no. No, you can't never whip me, you know, the little squinchy eyed fart. <laughs> Who else? Let's see. Who's one of some other guys? Uh, all right. One time Al Green said something about your dad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Son of a sap sucker, you said something about my father. My dad was the closest thing to my heart. His name was Gabe, and everybody loved him. And my nephew, Sonny Alberson, if you say something about Gabe, you're going to have him to whoop now because he wouldn't let you say anything about my dad. And where did you get off thinking you can whoop me out, man? Where did you get off thinking you could whip me? I'm 
the meanest devil son of a gun you ever seen in your life. Don't you ever think you can walk me, boy? You help. You help. I help. Uh, <laughs> That's enough, huh? could not remember Dave's name and then he couldn't remember Lance's name. It's sad. Really. Yeah, those are great. I mean, th and those were, those were probably done, I think around 2012. And, um, uh, you could, you, you could tell on some of them, you know, he's, he was just kind of slipping, but I did, I did just put him on the spot, just standing back in the lock, locker room saying, come on, just, just talk about whatever. And, uh, you know, in a couple, he couldn't, he couldn't remember Dave Brown's name. And then when he got further into the interview, couldn't remember Lance's name. And then I think he couldn't even remember what, what we were talking about. We were trying to talk about, he was comparing my announcing to Lance and Dave's. Um, but he just, you know, he would just, it was, it was kind of, you know, it was kind of sad after I did the, did the interviews to just realize, you know, how sharp, and how great on the microphone he always was. And then to see that, you know, that slippage there was just, it was, it was sad to me. Yeah. But still a very entertaining man. So you could, Oh gosh, <laughs> you can imagine. And, and, and he legitimately, he legitimately did not like, uh, Sputnik Monroe. They, they, he just, you know, he, I guess it was probably always jealous of the attention that Sputnik got, uh, there in Memphis. Now Sputnik was the big deal. Jack Jackie came along and took the took the spotlight off of Sputnik. Jackie was came into Memphis after Sputnik and Billy Wicks had done had done their deal, yeah. uh, but he didn't he didn't like didn't like Sputnik. And then, and you, I think you had some more uh, video or footage of him saying he didn't like women wrestlers. He didn't like uh, midget wrestlers. Yeah. Well, there, there's a great if someone wants to learn more about Jackie Fargo, but also just Memphis wrestling in general is Memphis Heat. Uh, a yeah. great documentary that you were involved in. Yeah, he was uh, Jackie Fargo's interview with him. There's Rocky Johnson, uh, J uh, Jerry Jarrett, uh, Jimmy Hart, everybody that uh, Calhoun was there. I mean, a lot of people that were involved with Memphis wrestling uh, back then is in this documentary. I highly recommend the documentary. You know, I told you earlier too that uh, a lot of people we have we have listeners all around the world, uh, and 
pro- probably the majority of the listeners are not, you know, we're not ever familiar with Jackie Fargo. They, they're sitting here listening to us talk about a guy that they've never even heard of. Mm-hmm. But, you know, he was an instrumental part of my career and not, not just my career, but my whole life. Uh, and so, you know, that's why we wanted to do this today. 